Hi guys! Today we're doing this tiny miniature dollhouse castle. This is 144 scale, which means it's the dollhouse for inside a dollhouse. I really wanted to make a castle and since I haven't made a tiny house in a while, I decided to do it in this scale, but you can of course make it in any size you want. Let's get started. I started by making a rough sketch of the size and the layout of my buildings. This is the main part of the castle. For the main structures, I'll be using this thick cardstock since it is hard enough to hold itself in this size and also very easy to cut, but you can make it out of wood if you want to make it more sturdy. For the smaller details, I switch between my small pair of scissors and also my X Acto knife. I used a recycled piece of cardboard, so it already has paint on the back, but doesn't matter since we'll be painting over it later. To give the front of the building a bit of dimension, I cut two smaller pieces and used some liquid glue to stick this onto the front. Then I cut two bigger pieces for the sides and glued these in place. Add a piece at the bottom. At this point I started painting the inside of the building using acrylic paint. I chose to do it now because it would be a lot harder to get in smaller details once you start gluing in the different floors and also the ceiling. And here's how it's looking so far. Now we can cut out cardstock pieces to make the roof. And that's the basic construction done. Now I went in and added some extra cardstock to the front for detail. To make the windows, I took a sheet of clear packaging, sketched out the shape of each window, cut it out and glued it in place. I used acrylic paint to paint on a decorative grid for the windows before using it to paint the entire front.
once I was done painting, I felt it all looked a little too flat, so I decided to take some fine craft sand and glue this on all over the surface using some matte glaze. And here we are, now it has a bit of texture. Now we're gonna finish the inside. Cut out pieces to be floors and walls and paint them before you glue them in place. Now we're ready to add some details. I'll be sculpting most of it using Fimo Soft Clay. I started by making a guard in full armor to stand by the door at the bottom of the building. And I worked on this ceramic base that my friend Tanya aka Sugar Time Shop made for me. The guard ended up only being about one centimeter tall, so it's kind of hard to get in a lot of detail in this small scale. But I just did my best and I used the basic sculpting tools I always use, a dotting tool, needle tool and such. Once I was happy with it, I baked it completely according to package instructions and then I painted it with some silver alcohol ink, but you can also use acrylic paint. I made tiny banners by baking small sticks of clay, then using some canvas fabric for the actual banner and painting on the fabric. I then made some very simple barrels using some brown clay before baking them and adding a strip of white paper that I painted with alcohol ink around them. For the spiral staircase, I cut small triangles of cardstock and glued them onto a piece of wire. Paint it brown and then add it in place. I then went throughout the castle and sculpted the details I thought I should have in there and also made more banners.
and here we are. Here's how I decorated my castle, but you can of course decorate it however you want. Now for the outer wall. I started by cutting out pieces of scrapbook paper and gluing these around a circle cutter to get the tower shape. Then I cut out cardstock pieces for the wall itself and glued it all together. Paint it with acrylic paint. To get a nice texture, I mixed the remainder of the acrylic paint with some glue and some more of the white craft sand and then spread this on the surface. As a final touch, I added a wash of grey paint to the entire wall, because I felt the colour made it look a little too much like a sand castle. And here we are, here's my finished castle. I didn't stick the pieces onto a base, but you can, and then you could make a whole scene out of it. I really like this medieval look, but you can make it in any style you want to make it more modern. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project. Hit the like button if you want me to make more projects like this and I'll see you guys in a new video real soon. Bye!